so hey guys how's it going on welcome back to a brand new episode on our channel so in this video we are going to create a react web application in which we can upload images to our server and database in blob format like I have made a video in which we are uploading the image to Firebase and getting a link and storing that link within our database. But in this video, what we are going to do is we are directly going to upload our image into our MongoDB database by converting it into binary data in the base64 format. So let's get started without any further ado. So first of all, let's just see how our application is going to work. So first of all, I'm going to click on choose file and select an image let's just select this one and click on upload it will upload my image to the database click on ok and if i refresh the page now there is only one image within our within our database if i click on refresh you will see that there will be one image within this images collection of my database and uh, if i refresh this page it will also fetch my image right here you can see it will also come here just give me a second and you can see similarly i can upload another image as well let's just select uh, this one click on upload image uploaded successfully and you can see that one image is here if i refresh again there will be another image as well if i refresh this page we will see two images here so let's just refresh this is the first image and this is the second image we just uploaded right so similarly we will have two images here as well and that's how it will work i will just show you that but before that let me just explain so this is a react which is the front end from here we will be uploading images to our back end and the back end that is our mern server will upload these images to into our mongodb database all right this is the first one and this is the second the second one will be coming and yeah that's how it's gonna work so let's just start building this project in vs code so right now i am on my vs code application and have opened a folder called blob image upload now what i'm gonna do is open the terminal and let's just simply create a react app and a server for our application so let's just say npx create react app let's just name it client all right and hit enter and this will create our react application now what we are gonna do is open another terminal and we are gonna create a new folder within here and let's just say call let's just call it server and now let's just go into cd server let's do npm init dash y which will initialize our backend or let's just say server and now it should initialize the package now if we go into the server you can see a package.json right now we need to install some modules or you can say package managers using npm so let's just say npm i express mongoose and multi now if i hit enter this will install the node modules within my server all right and if i see for my react application is already ready right now let me just clear this terminal and if i see the client you can see node modules public source and everything here now what we are going to do is we're going into the source we're going to the app.js and we will just simply remove the template code let's just remove till here and let's just remove both these things and that should be fine now what we are going to do is start our react application let's just say let's just go into cd client and then let's just say npm start all right now this will simply start our react application on the web browser And here's our blank react app now what we need to do is let's just go and create a server first then we can work on the react part all right let's just create our backend first that i mean server and then we can work on the front end all right i hope you get my point now let's just remove this terminal from our screen and let's just close this 
and uh, open the server let's just create a new file within the server called as index.js now within this index.js let's just create some constant to actually have the modules which we just installed using npm so i'm just gonna say const express is equals to require express and similarly we are gonna do for mongoose and let's just say const mongoose oh, my bad spelling mistake mongoose equals to require mongoose all right and we need to do the same thing for multer as well now let me just tell you a little bit about this express is what we are going to use to create our server and mongoose is going to be used to actually fetch and uh, fetch data and all from our database all right it is used to play with mongodb to be precise and simple all right and now we are going to do the same thing for multa multa is used to like store files into our server when user is going to upload a file through the front end multa will be taking the taking action in the back end to do the stuff around the uploading part all right we're going to say require multa it's that simple all right now we are going to create an app let's just say const app is equals to express and just this much this will initialize or you can say create our application now let's just define a port let's just say const port is equals to let's just say 3001 for our backend port and because our react application will be running on localhost slash 3000 by default so i'm just simply running my backend at 3001 now let's just say app dot listen now we need to see if the app is going to work or not right so i'm just going to create app dot listen it will listen to a specific port let's just say 3001 all right i just gave it above let's just say this port port now it's going to listen to this port and when it listens i'm going to call an arrow function and within this arrow function i'm going to say what let's just say console log console log let's just simply say server is live i think that's fine all right now what we need to do is create a mongodb database all right so for that what we are going to do is first of all let's just save this file and go into our browser now here i'm going to go for search for mongodb atlas all right i'm just going to search for it go to this link i'll give the link in the description you can directly go to atlas using the link given in the description so i'm just going to click on sign in and then sign in with my google account now guys i have simply signed in using my google account and let's just create a new sample project for this application i'm going to click on new project and then what I'm gonna do is give it a name. Let's just say blob img upload. All right, and then click on next. And then I'm the project owner, so let's just have it. Create, click on create project, and it will create a project within our Atlas, MongoDB Atlas. And then what we're gonna do is just close this and go into the database here. Click on this and then we need to click on build a database and then let's just select this free tire for now and let the rest of the things stay as they are and click on create and now let's just finish this capture all right and yep i have a password which i'm gonna change and uh, simply hide it and I'm gonna change a new one and I have copied it okay so I have generated a new password and I'm gonna click on create user and then when my user is added I'm just gonna say add my current IP address and all this stuff so you can add your current IP address here so that you can only access the database from your machine and nowhere else like from your IP address only and I'm gonna click on finish and close remove this finish and close go to overview all right now what we are going to do is go to network access because sometimes uh, 
working through your own IP address might change like it uh, doesn't work perfectly on my machine so that's why I'm gonna give network access all over the world like someone can anyone can access my database from any IP address that's what I mean so I'm gonna click on allow access from anywhere it will take a few minutes or seconds to get the active status here so once your status is active we can go back again to our VS Core and now let's just create a new file within the server let's just name it db.js now here we are gonna get the mongoose again so I'm just simply gonna copy it and then paste it here alright now we have imported mongoose again now we are just gonna say const db equals to now we are we are going to get a db uri from our mongodb database so let's just get that so what we are going to do is go into our database click on here and then once it loads we are going to click on connect and then click on drivers then just copy this uri all right now paste the same thing within this string and then here I had to add my new password I will be adding the password once I have written the complete code for this JS page all right you have to add your password in place of this all right and your username in place of this which is automatically there right so now next what we are gonna do is connect to our database so let's just say mongoose dot connect connect and within this we are gonna pass in our DB string let's just say DB comma now we are going to give some objects here let's say use new url parser let's just say true okay now okay let me just complete it and then i will explain this stuff to you let's just say use unified topology topology and this is gonna be true as well all right and then once this is done we're gonna say dot then once this is done I'm gonna calling an arrow function which will log something let's just say connection successful now this will work when we have successfully connected to our database from our backend all right and then if this dot then doesn't work I'm gonna say dot catch catch what catch an error that's what I'm saying catch an error and once an error is cached, I'm gonna say log no connection. I'm just simply gonna say log no connection. And then I'm just gonna add the error message like why the connection is not established. It will help us when we want to debug our code, right? Now this is it for the db.js. Now I will close it and add my password here. Now guys, I have added my password to be db.js file and now let's just create another file called as imgschema.js, imgschema.js, all right, let's just hit enter and it will create a new file for us. Now we are going to do the same thing again, get the mongoose because we are going to create a mongoose doc schema now. So let's just say const img schema i let's just say image schema equals to new mongoose dot schema and within this we are going to give our schema the data is going to be the buffer type the data is going to be the buffer type and the content type which will give whether the image is a jpg png or the image type that's what I'm I want to say that's what I want to say okay and uh, now what we are going to do is this buffer will have the binary data of the image and the string will have the uh, like whether the content type okay I hope you get it jpg png and all that stuff now let's just say const image equals to mongoose dot model mongoose dot model and the model name will be image or you can say the collection name and the image schema this this is the collection name which this is the Mo mongodb collection name and this is the schema of each doc within the collection all right now we are just going to export this so let's just say 
module dot exports equals to image now we are just simply going to import this image within our index.js and use it right there but before importing let's just say we need to have our database to connect with our database right so i'm just gonna say let's just say require dot slash db.js and it will automatically connect to our server when i run this index.js file okay now let's just uh, import our image let's just say const image is equals to let's just say require and then dot slash image schema right now what we need to do is set up our multi so i'm going to say const storage is equals to multi dot memory storage and then i'm going to say const upload const upload is equals to multi and within this we are going to create an object which is going to have storage storage set to storage all right just give me a sec we need a colon here okay now it's fine now the next step is to create a post request slash upload which will upload our image to the database so i'm going to say app dot post let's just say slash upload slash upload then what we're going to do is say upload this upload thing we created right this thing upload dot single we are going to upload a single image so dot single upload dot single and then we are going to pass in an image here then we are going to call an async function which will have two parameters let's say request and response and the object defining the function structure so we're going to use a try catch block so let's just say try within try we are going to create a const new image is equals to the new mongoose doc just do this new image and within this we're going to say the data is equals to request dot file dot buffer the buffer from the file i'm going to upload will be the data and then the content type and then the content type is going to be request dot file dot mime type this will access the content type of the file all right now what is next is the await we are going to create an await request to save this image into our database so let's just say await new image dot save all right let's say you know this will save our image and then we are just going to have a status request i'm just going to say response dot status status is going to be 201 the message sent will be let's just say image uploaded successfully image uploaded successfully and we can just simply show this response in our front end all right and then we are just going to catch an error as we did previously let's just say catch and catch an error and then within this we are just going to say response dot status server error so let's just say 500 dot send we're just going to give error dot message all right this should be fine now we have created our request to upload an image but i also want to show my images within my front end so I'm just going to create a get request as well. So I'm just going to say app.get app.get and within this I'm going to say slash images. When I'm going to make a get request to slash images, I will get all my images available within the database. All right. So I'm just going to call an async function which will take request comma response as parameters. And then within this, let's just again use a try catch block. All right error and here within the catch block we are just going to do the same thing again so let's just copy it 
paste it here and let's just make it ERR this should be fine and good okay now what is next is we need to create fetch our data I mean we need to fetch the images from our database right so let's just say const images equals await image dot find and now this line of code will find all the images from our mongodb image collection within our database all right so what next is we just need to say let's just say const converted images converted images let's just correct the spelling converted images is equals to the images we got dot map map through each of the image and once we are going to map through them what we are going to do is return an object saying content type is equals to the img is equals to the img dot content type img dot content type and the data is going to be the img dot data dot to string because it's the binary data we are doing converting it to to string in the base 64 form all right now our server is completely ready now we can work with our front end all right let me just check uh, it's showing some error so if i go to the problems you can see okay we can fix this error when we complete our front end if there are any errors we'll get them in the debug console right so for now let's just close this terminal and also this index.js and image schema files and open the client and app.js file within that okay so now what we are going to do is within app.js first of all we need to like install a package called axios to fetch the data from our server all right so I'm just gonna go for the terminal and this one and let's just open a new terminal and let's just say CD client and within this client I'm just gonna say npm i axios and it will install axios for us till the time it's gonna install axios I'm gonna import axios in my app.js all right so I'm just gonna say import axios from axios all right now we need to create another file let's just say image upload img img upload dot jsx okay we have created this file i'm gonna create a basic react template and hit save for now now within this app.js what we are going to do is first of all let's use a use state hook to store the images so that we can later on uh, fetch them so i'm just gonna say use state snippet i'm gonna use a snippet and then i'm gonna say images and uh, set images and it's going to be an empty array and let's just import this use state hook all right now it's imported now what we're going to do is create an uh, we are going to create a function to fetch the images so let's just say const fetch images const fetch images is equals to an async function async and then we're going to use a try catch block again I'm gonna do try catch and the same thing again let's just say console dot error console dot error I'm gonna say error fetching images and then I will simply say simply pass in the error all right or let's just say error dot message fine now within this try block we are gonna do is fetch for the data so I'm gonna say const response const response is equals to await axios dot get request to 
http slash localhost or simply I'm just gonna come here copy this paste it here instead of typing we can just paste that and make this 3001 because it will be running on the 3001 port and slash images and soon after the request is made we're gonna say the set images to this response dot data now this will set our images over that now what we are going to do is we are going to fetch the images on the user pack that thing we can do later but first of all what we are going to do is let's just say let's just convert this to react javascript or just say jsx and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an h1 let's just say blob img upload blob img uploader okay and then i'm just gonna get my component which is the img upload component here which will have an input box and stuff to upload the image and one more thing what we are going to do is we are going to import our css file which is app.css dot slash app.css which will have the default styling of react.js right and then we are going to create a div here let's just say a div within this div i'm going to say images dot map we are have we are going to get the image and the index all right and now here we are going to return another div div okay within this div okay just give me a second i guess there is a syntax error or something okay so what we are going to do is we are going to say a div with uh, a key let's just give it a key the key will be the index and after this we are going to use an image tag and the source is going to be uh, let's just use backticks the source is going to be data because this is binary data we need to convert it into image so the syntax here is going to be different so just say the dollar symbol and then within this we are going to pass in the img dot content type img dot content type then the format is going to be base 64 so we are going to type that and then we're going to say a comma and dollar sign again and pass in the img dot data in here all right and in place of alt we can simply say we can just simply put back text and within this i can say image with the index all right let's just say index and this will fetch all our images there is some error here unexpected okay just give me a second then we're gonna put uh, slash div now it's perfectly fine now, now i'm going to hit save and see at a react app now you can see this much stuff and there are no since there we haven't uploaded any image it's still empty all right so next what we are going to do is go into our image upload.jsx file and within here we are going to create an image use state hook so let's just say use state snippet and here i'm going to say image set image the image is going to be null initially and then let's just make this a capital i fine and just import the use state hook fine now what is next we are going to create an input field which will take in our which will take in take in our image all right so i'm just going to say input i'm just going to say input type is going to be file and then on change i'm going to create a function for on change when an image is uploaded 
I want it to call a function called handle image upload let's just say handle image change when a file is uploaded all right we will create the function and then let's just create a button with uh, let's just say upload a button for uploading the image and then here we are gonna say on click on click on click we are going to call a function called uh, handle image upload all right handle image upload and let's just correct the spelling here all right it should be good enough now if we open our browser okay now we just need to define our functions so let's just say handle image change okay just const handle image change which is going to be an function arrow function let's just have an parameter let's say e and then we are gonna say set image is equals to e dot target dot files and select the first file okay now what we are going to do is define a second function which is going to be const uh, handle image upload so let's just say const handle image upload okay let's just correct the spelling here and here as well okay now this is going to be an async function because we are going to make a post request to our database or let's just say our server to our server we will be sending that data to our database all right so let's just say const form data form data is equals to new form data and we are going to say form data dot append append an image which is going to be the image itself all right then we are again going to do the try catch block and it's gonna be and let's just alert if the if we are unable to upload an image let's just give an alert let's just say fail to upload the image all right fail to upload the image we can do this much and in the try block we can just simply say await axios okay axios is auto imported await axios dot post await axios dot post i'm again going to copy this and uh, put it here but this time i'm gonna say slash upload okay we are going to upload at localhost 3000 one slash upload and then the second parameter is going to be our form data and the third parameter is our object for the headers all right headers which will which are going to be let's just say content type which is going to be multi-part slash form data multi-part slash form data content type is going to be our multi-part slash form data and once this is done we are going to let's just say once this axios dot post is done we will alert we'll make an alert let's say alert and within this i'm going to say image uploaded successfully and yep it's good and fine now now we need to test our application and debug the changes and errors now what i'm going to do is run my server first so go into server control j open the terminal go to the server one and within the server we are just going to say node index.js and now we are going to see there is some error now so we need to fix our errors now let's just go within the index.js file 
it shows some error so if we go to the index.js if I open the terminal again you can see data is equals to request.file.buffer so we just need to remove this and put a colon there all right now when the colon is done I think we are good to go and uh, let's just run this again and we have a small mistake again so for the slash images it's gone it's going to be request comma response hit save and then run again okay this time it ran perfectly now you can see the server is live right now connection successful as we did in the db.js file and now our server is ready now if i come here open up the console okay not needed i'm gonna refresh the page once and then let's just choose a file i'm going to go for my wall arts and let's just simply select this image and i've selected an image now clicking on upload and fail to upload the image there is some error which we don't know so let's just see if we can find okay so we need to set up a course policy to make requests from our front end to the server all right let's just do that quickly to do that let's just open our index.js file again and for now let's just close the server do cls and do npm i course install the course package and while it's installing what i'm going to do is let's just import it const course const course equals to require course all right and this is good enough now what we need to do is let's just create an array of allowed origins let's just do one thing first let's just say course okay let's just keep it a little down i'm gonna put the course up here okay course and now we are going to say const allowed origins like all the domains which should be allowed to make a request to our server will be within this array all right so i'm just going to say just copy this paste it here if you host your front end you can add the domain here so that it can make request to your back end from that particular domain all right you can do that now what we are going to do is we say const course options course options is equals to const options is equals to we are going to say origin origin within this we are going to pass into parameters one is origin and the next is callback and we are saying if the allowed origins dot includes the current origin current origin or if the origin doesn't exist at all if the origin doesn't exist at all what we are going to do is we are going to say callback null and pass in true else what we are going to do is we are going to pass in callback and let's just say throw a new error saying not allowed by course okay now this should be good enough now after this else block we need to pass in our credentials let's just say credentials which should be set to true now this should be good enough for the course options now we are gonna make our app use these course and course options all right so i'm just going down uh, here and let's just say app dot use course and then we are gonna say 
app dot use within this course we're gonna pass in our course options all right this should be good now if i hit save go here and cls then again run my application you can see server is live connection successful now if i come here hit refresh choose a file to upload let's just select the same image again click on upload image uploaded successfully now the image has been uploaded if i refresh the page the image should load here within a few seconds okay let's just see let's just see if the image is uploaded to the database or not so i'm just going to go for the database click on browse collections and here within the collections we have images we have our documents let's just give it a sec so that it can load the documents and yep we have our images here now what we are going to do is uh, we should be able to fetch our images Let's so within the app.js we haven't called the fetch images yes so what we're going to do is click on use effect use effect snippet we're just going to remove all this and remove this as well and let's just call the fetch images when the page is reloaded and let's just import the use effect hook in the file now if i hit save and go to my here to my web app hit refresh the images should come so guys after debugging a little i found out where the error is why i am not able to fetch my images so it's in the index.js so i haven't sent any response after i find the images here right so i need to send the response as well so i'm just going to say response.json we're going to send response.json let's just say converted images and let's just hit save and then we need to launch our server again Control c cls and node index.js i'm just gonna close the terminal and come here again hit refresh and now you can see we have our images here and in the app.js if i could just remove this hit refresh and the images within my database are right in front of me right these are the images i uploaded you can also resize these images as you want from this image element so this is it we can upload new images let's just upload a new file let's just click on choose file and i'm going to select this one all right i'm just going to click on this image let's say midorima underscore one click on upload let's just you can see image uploaded successfully okay i'm gonna remove this console hit refresh and uh, this is one image this is the second one the third one fourth one and the images we just uploaded is also here so this is it guys i hope you liked the video how we coded and created our server and app.js if you have any more doubts regarding this just let me know in the comments below and I will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.